Tomorrow marks a big milestone in the investigation into the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. The first round of public hearings are set for tomorrow evening right here on ABC 10. And Alex Bell has more on what to expect. Nearly a year and a half following the deadly January 6th attack, the House Committee investigating the insurrection say they are set to release new video and new information. Appearing on CNN, Denver Riggleman, a former congressman and aide to the House Select Committee, says the information and documents the group compiled about the plot to keep former President Trump in power will shock Americans. I think people are going to be absolutely surprised uh, how much was known with multiple groups. The January 6th committee plans to call documentarian Nick Quested to testify. Quested and his film crew were embedded with the far-right extremist group, the Proud Boys, for months, including the day the Capitol attack ensued. Clips of Quested's footage and his firsthand account will air publicly at the primetime hearing. An injured Capitol police officer is also expected to testify. And at the heart of the hearings was the violent attack on of the Capitol, a conspiracy. Committee Vice Chair Wyoming Republican Liz Cheney spoke to CBS News. If you, you look at the court filings, um, you well, do look you believe at, it was a conspiracy? I do. It is extremely broad. It's extremely well organized. This week, the Department of Justice announced five indictments against members of the Proud Boys, including the group's former chairman, on charges of seditious conspiracy, planning to violently overthrow or delay certification of Joe Biden's presidential victory. The former chairman's attorney tells ABC News he will have his day in court and looks forward to being vindicated of these allegations. Now, the committee cannot bring criminal charges, but they want to provide a public record of what happened with that deadly attack. And so take a look. ABC 10 will not have a newscast at 5, 6 or 630 tomorrow because of the hearing. But stay with us for the latest local news at 8 p.m. And of course, right here at 11 on Late News Tonight.